Hi. Good evening. Oh, a bit high, let's have a... Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining us. Good, yes, so hi. We've um, got a couple of you here already. So, Gian, thank you for joining us. So, we're waiting. Hi. Sue, thank you for waiting. Um, and there's a couple of other you, of you waiting as well. So, um, so yes, say yes. hello. And we'll um, do the usual of giving out the card that we'll be creating this evening. Or if you are outside the UK, we'll send you a PDF tutorial of one of our online classes as well. Good. Yes. So, yes. So let's introduce ourselves. My name is Barry, and I'm Jay, and together we are Matusu Crafts, and we have we have the mini part. Yeah. We have the me. Minis on. Uh, we on have me. we have me, oh. and we have where's two, and Sue's Hi, two, and, and Sue's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. yes, so we are independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. We do put out card making and paper craft uh, videos every week, so it's worth considering subscribing to our channel if you would like to see some more in the future. Cool, so before we start, I thought uh, we'll do the usual and show you some projects that we created the past week. Uh, this one was for the stamp review crew a couple of weeks ago, but I did recreate it for our Wednesday Facebook Live. So the replay of that is on this channel as well. And check that out using the mountain air. Hi, Carmen. It's lovely. And I think some people have already recreated this one as well. Which yes. So, yes, now. share your projects. We'd love to see what you, so um, a, your version of that those. That was a lovely one. And this one as well, using a new stamp set. Ooh, from so. the 2020 to 2021 annual catalog by Stampin' Up. And it's launching next Wednesday. So double... Celebration next Wednesday because well, 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 Wednesday birthday. because it's actually Barry's birthday as well. So I don't know if I'll actually be making him a card. Oh, no, we never make table. each other. We never make each other cards. Right? Can we may lose the camera in a moment? We've got yeah. a cat, which is cat on the loose. Yeah. She's, um... That's fine. She's yes. all right. So, yes. Yeah, so, um... So, yeah, so my birthday next Wednesday, releasing the new catalogues, which is very nice. So, um... Jay can make me a card live on camera. <laughs> Are we still doing a, a Facebook Live? Again? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to go back. So, Carmen, um, did you ask, was it this one here you were asking what stamp was used? If it was, then this one was a Mountain Air stamp set. Um which was used to create the yeah okay so this was a mountain air stamp set which was used to create this um you can obviously the video of how this was actually made was we done on wednesday so you can catch the replay of that one there and you can say but it's mountain air cool and um on wednesday i created this card which is what i'm gonna recreate this evening uh so to show you how i done that and i'm actually gonna do a second card um stepping it up a little bit so uh, using the silhouette scenes and um, brick and mortar embossing folder. I love this embossing folder. Yes, it is. It's a lovely embossing folder. Yes. So good. So, and are these going to be, are these, yeah. sneak, are these sneak the peaks, peaks at the end? Yes, we do have some sneak peeks. I've got a beautiful um, card to show you at the very end. It's, it's amazing. It's which really, one? really, really that which one. one? <laughs> well, which, which one? <laughs> Oh, the silhouette scene. So the there's another, another the silhouette one. scenes one. It yeah. is absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, I didn't actually. I've had that uh, idea for a while. I haven't done it for anything specific, but um, the rest of the cards that we'll be showing you at the end will be coming out on the blog. Uh, we've got quite. A, well, we have a couple of blog hops coming yes. out next week. Got a busy week next week, actually. Yeah. So uh, check out uh, on the, yeah check out our blog. Yes. Or a Facebook page, yeah. because we'll probably Lovely. be... Or Instagram, anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, so, Tommy! There's Tommy, and we're going to move around. So, we, we don't yeah. know, are we? You're going to see Minnie, um, because she is just sat right there. <laughs> Minnie! Come on. Off you go. Daddy needs to craft. That's it. Cool. So, I'll just move these out of the way. Oh, can you switch on the light, please? Yeah, switch on the light. So, yeah, so I'm going to quickly show that one. Um, cut hair, as usual. 
Um, so using the bricks and mortar and silhouette scenes um, stamp set. Uh, this is lovely um, stamp set for creating silhouettes, as as it says on the. As it says on the tin. So yes. So it's got ten uh, cling mount stamp set. Um, so five images and five um, sentiments, which is great. So with the with this one, I actually use Memento and Stamparatos. Uh, so because Memento, when I stamped it, it wasn't too dark. Uh, so I used the Stamparatos to stamp it three times. But I'm going to try it with Stays On and I believe that will actually make, make it more darker than that. So let's do that. So usual card base, whatever you're used to. So mine is 21 centimeters by 14.6 centimeters. And that is equivalent to eight and a quarter by five and three quarters of an inch. So I've got that too. Just um, scored and folded in half. So this is thick whisper white. And the off cuts I have, I've actually made this smaller and I just need to cut it. So the width of this is three eighths of an inch less than the card base or one centimeter. And I'm gonna cut that to four. So that will be the topper there. I had the smoky slate, which is I believe that was three, yeah, three inches by half an inch, but it's covered anyway. So I just, I'm just gonna get enough cut and cut it down to three inches. Hi, Carol. Hi, Susan. Oh, wow. Hi, Latchford. So that is that. What else? Real red and whisper white. So I do have some off cuts already and I'll do that afterwards. Cool. So we'll do some stamping in Stays On. So Stays On is a solvent ink. So you, you will need like a Stays On cleaner just so it doesn't damage your red rubber stamps in the future. And a good tip for you if you have Stays On is if you put dimensional on the other side, it just keeps the plastic lid stuck to the actual lid. So whenever you open up, it's already open because oh, you done it. <laughs> yeah, because we found that um, we're, whenever we open it, we're having to take off the plastic lid as well. So that is just a tip for you. All right, if this should work, I did try it just now just to see and it looks quite um, juicy so just stamp that on so um, that's really cool so I'm happy with that compared to that one as well so that one's just once one stamped and this one was three times so that's a great combination there or combination comparison even <laughs> that's great and then the big shot power stop me i don't know if i got in the right plate though no you did not um i will need the normal platform with the 3d plate yeah that's great so normal platform With the three D plate, the camera of a yeah. So if you have the big shot, you will need the three D plate for the three D brick and mortar embossing folder. And it opens up like that so you will need to place it so my tip as well is if you have the Snappin' Up logo that's normally the top side of your paper 
Ooh, sorry. And then you could always just use the edge to align your piece of paper or card. And one wonky walls. Wonky walls. Well, why not? And I try to as much as I can if um, the paper allows me to is have the spine going through the big shot first. So it does create the lovely um, textured cardstock there. And it's even got the texture on the actual bricks as and well, which is really cool. Oh, can you get me stamping blends and a, a um, black um, and copy paper, please? And that is pretty much like it, the base of it. Because what I'm gonna do is just to add the graffiti look is um, splatter the dark basic blends around. So you might must have seen me use this quite a bit already. And concentrate more where the girl is, but I wanted up where the balloon as well. So I don't know if you've seen the Banksy image with the girl and the red heart balloon. So we didn't have any hearts, but we did have a balloon punch. So what I did with that is I stamped the sentiment first. Oh, I didn't clean my, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll just quickly clean this one. So it just goes on top and then use your scrub. But for my next one, I'll probably use a different stamp just to change it up a little. So we want, we're gonna just use the same, you inspire me. In the punch. So looking at this punch, because it's there, I don't want to use too much paper <laughs> because I'm stingy. So I'm gonna stamp it towards the bottom left down there. I'll just use normal memento for this one. Shall I? No, I'll keep it stays on. Just to have the same intensity as well. There we go, that is done. And then the punch. So if you're new to the Stampin' Up Punches, you do have a lock locking mechanism there. So you can store it flat and then you just push it up and it opens like that. And the entry point of your paper is on the top like so. And then you just place it where you want it. And then you punch. There we go, that's done. And now we can just compile our card. That way, that way, that way. Oh, and my tip for the heart. So the hearts, I actually used the small bloom punch. I punched it however many times. I think three times. You don't need the full bloom. You just need like, you can even probably just do that and then have a bloom, but I can just cut it anyway. So snips, and then you're just basically resting your snip on the edge of the petal and then cutting down and then the same goes for that one and then you have a heart the dog building punch has got hearts as well but i thought i'll just use 
in the small bloom bunch because the small bloom bunch will be available from the annual uh, from the new annual catalog as well as well as the dog builder bunch actually so but I thought oh I'll change it up but the heart from the dog builder bunch is actually I believe was smaller yeah I should I'm gonna have I'm just gonna have it for you see yeah so that, that, that. Are you come in? Yeah. So the dog builder punch is this one. It's got a lovely heart on there. And I have used it before, but we'll just cut it. So compared to that one, it is quite smaller. I can do mix and match. Okay. Oh yeah, you have, we haven't fed them. Cool. So now we're just basically adding this onto our card with your preferred ad adhesive. Oops. I normally prefer multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just placing it so it's got a nice border around ah I forgot this quick 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 so that's what's great about uh, I did that on purpose honestly that's that's what's great about liquid glue because you can just add it on after like well not after but you if you if you haven't if it hasn't dried you can lift it off quite easily and then this gets put on with dimensionals or mini dimensionals i've only just started and it's a mess already in here mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'm just gonna place it more in the middle because I want to tuck in some of the hearts oh can you get me flax ribbon as well please sauce I was like I think I have everything I need so flax that just ribbon. goes there yeah it might be retiring it might be retiring yeah or just baker's twine. I want to keep it white. Cool. Thanks. Just need a blob. That's all you need. There. Under here. So we do a tiny one down up there. Yeah. We'll do a tiny heart. Can I just zoom in? No, I can't. There you go. That's one card done. So using the silhouette scenes, brick and mortar, and Yes, punch. Small bloom punch. I was like, what else? I forgot my flax ribbon. So with the original one, I actually used like a really thin baker's twine or something. I think I used them all up. So with the flax ribbon, you can... There's like eight strands on there. So I need only... I need just a tiny bit to create a small bow this might be too small <laughs> I don't really do longer and then cut it to size but you get the idea oh yes 
and then just zhuzh it up zhuzh that one you can just add a tiny bit of glue where you want to place it and then once it's dry it should be fine there we go now it's done so quite quick clean and Clean and simple, I would say, with the hint of splatter, so not too much. But we're gonna go a bit more grunge, grungy for the second one, I guess. And I'll show you some techniques with the embossing folder. Right, I'll just... Cool. So the next one, we have the same card base. Same sizes whatever you're used to, keeping it white as well. Hi Cheryl, thank you. Hi Sue. Hi Shiwana. Has Cheryl got her card yet? Cheryl, yes. Have you got your card yet? Um, of course. So this one is 3 eighths of an inch smaller than the card base or one centimeter smaller than the card base and with that i'm going to use the same embossing folder so to even grunge it up even more you can either stamp on your embossing folder or sponge on it so you can use your sponge sprayers cat hair. full of cat hairs this has been in the box well, cat hair gets everywhere yeah oh well i'm sure it'll, it'll add yeah, to the add texture, texture. <laughs> so we know that that's the front because of the logo So when you're brayering, make sure that it goes all the way across your ink pad and all of pick that up. is roll it, rolling. And pick it up, don't go up and down. You can go up and down as long as you, left, you take it out, but then you're going back in to then add more ink to the same area of the brayer. So it's better to do it that. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't dig it all in because we've found in um, some people actually put too much pressure and the sponge sprayer holder scrapes the ink pad and you don't want to scrape your ink pad so that should be enough <laughs> <laughs> um, and <ooh. laughs> taking it away from you and I'm just gonna ink up these you can't really see it much. Can you just put things back? So I'm just going to add a bit more. With this color, I don't actually know how much I'm I'm doing, but I'm sure there's color already in there. And also another tip, make sure when you're when you're briaring something, you pick up as well. So you do what Jay's doing, you pick up. Don't go backwards and forwards because all you'll do is just you're just using the same part of the sponge and not actually and you'll get lines. Doesn't look like it, does it? But <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of ink there. I'm sure there's. I just I do re really just want hints of it anyway. What you could do is you can do that, but that's gonna be too dark. I think I just want hints. And um, I did say about stamping on your um, embossing folder as well. So you uh, you can do that too. I'm gonna try the very versatile 
latex. And obviously when you stamp and then when you emboss it, it'll be the other way around. So I'm gonna make it upside down. <laughs> Why not? It's just an example. So I'll just keep the same. And we'll see how it works. Because I haven't actually done this. Uh, a sample for this one. So if I want that there. Really see it either. I'm sure there's hints of it. We'll see. And before I do that, I forgot to stamp. So I'm gonna stamp the girl in the swing. In stays on. And because it's, I'm actually just gonna hang her there because. <laughs> I'm not gonna think suspend of, her rather suspend. than hang her <laughs> <laughs> that's a better way of putting it <laughs> yes um, so she's just like suspend because you know normally I'd be like oh no but she's not hanging anywhere kind of thing so that's gonna be there that's gonna be there okay There you go. Can you clean that for me, please? Thank you. And this one as well, please. Thanks. Where's the big shot? Um, over here. Thank you. So I'm just going to place this along here. And then carefully not the, um moving the paper in there hi deborah thanks so much and we'll see if that works if not there's another uh, we got loads of paper <laughs> we can experiment Ooh, i'm intrigued it would probably work better with a darker ink but Yeah, the, um, in the recess or the texture, you can just see hints of it as well. So if you use the stamp, which call it text, you can't really make sense of. So I'm just going to start stamp that on top. So it's probably better if you have a blocked um, stamp images, but I don't mind. Do like you try it again with a darker piece. Yeah, I could do. You just need to cut. Ink. You just need to cut me some um what papers. Size do you want to whisper white? Um, four, five, and three eighths. Five and three eighths by three and a quarter. Three eight quarters. So yeah, so this one you can see that that one's a bit more smoother and more white. With this one, with the addition of the gray granite, you can see a bit more of the. Yeah, of the details on the bricks. So whilst Paris doing that, right, three eighths by five. Eight. Yeah, so it's three eighths of an inch slower than the normal card base, one centimeter less than the card base. One centimeter. So whilst he's doing that, I'm just gonna continue on with this one, and add this one. Try that in a sec. So I'll just finish this one up. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And where is that stamp? What stamp are you after? 
the text stamp. Oh. Right, I'm gonna stamp on here in memento. Actually, you can you can see it. It's it's dried. You can't see it when it's. You can see. I can see it more when it's like further out. And because I'm stamping on a uneven, you do get a bit more texture on there. So stamp off. There we go. And then if you really, really want to darken it up, you can do some more sponging on the edges. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting a stamping sponge. So bar is giving me basic gray. Yeah, I think so. Right, for this one, I'll just use gray granite to finish this card off. And then I'm just gonna sponge off the edge. Yeah, it's quite a light one. I didn't think it would be this light, the, the grey granite. Unless we've used it up so much. <laughs> it is a bit of a go-to colour, the grey granite yeah. at the moment. Shall I put in this one? Oh, love it. So that one's done. So I'll do a darker one and we'll see if that works. Cool. So I'll do a stamped one. Oh, shall I do another one? Shall we do the. We'll do that one. We'll just use all of the things can i get a block a large block for that one please thanks <laughs> so this one is actually the stamp that i use for this the another card that i created this week uh with another embossing folder and sponging a lot of sponging um you're in for a treat if you like this stamp set and yeah so because it is a bigger image i'm just Putting my, it smells lovely. I already just said. Let's see if I do this more in the middle. Sorry, I have to stand up. Add pressure. Amazing. Clean up on that stamp, please. So that's done. A bit more to the right, but hey ho. So let's have a look. See, Ooh, where's my basic gray this time? Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> well, the other one works, it's the same, but this one might be a bit more um, intense. Well, yeah, it will be more intense if you do the ink pad straight to the embossing folder. Well, you've got two pieces you can try. Yeah. So I will do this first and then we will see. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you, Claude. Oh, she's going to oh, put sorry. it back. Sorry. I was ready to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cool. So you, you can see through that it has got more details on it. Yeah. So it has, compared to this one, I don't know if you can if the camera can pick it up, but it just gives that outdoor graffiti look. It gives you a dirty wall. Yeah. An outdoor dirty wall. Yeah. And I like the fact that you get the shadows intensifies yeah. on the bigger emboss and the bigger... Which you did get a hint of it on here, but that just... Oh, I love it. I don't know why I like, I like, um, like stencil graffiti and um, kind of like worn out wall. I did do my... Yeah, I'll, I'll use that one. That's fine. Um, as I said before, I did do my dissertation on stencil graffiti when I was at uni ages and ages ago, maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> wow, that's, I'm old. <laughs> All right, just, yeah. Every time I say that, I was like, well, you are. <laughs> Thanks. So this, we'll see how dark that is. Yeah, so this one, basic gray again. So it'll be lighter than this one. And we'll just go. There. Cool. Oh, running out. So I will just put that on there and we will do some hearts. Oh, look, that will fit right in there. That's lovely. So yeah, so you don't need much with this um, stamp. Not really, because the, the image itself, and with if you are just doing like graffiti inspired cards. But you can add more stuff onto it if you want but that I think keeping it less layers just adds to the effect of it oh I forgot my splattering on that one. Oh. oh no I will just am I actually oh yes I am <laughs> I was like am I actually splattering Flatter it up. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna add a bit more on top. There we go. Cool. So I'm gonna add my heart. So this one now is from the dog builder. Mini dimensional. <gasps> mini dimensional. Oh. Shall I mini it up? Okay, I'll mini it up. Just for you, Barry. I'll raise my heart. <laughs> I've got it. This one. Is it too big? I can't see. Oh, ain't that cute? And then there is a lovely sentiment in here as well. Together is a perfect place to be. We'll use that. Where's that? There. On a piece. On a piece. Ooh! Sorry. Can you pass me the jar of flowers, please? It's the yeah. The jar of flowers have got a nice chevron stamp on it, which I used for the other card. Thank you. Sneak peek. This one. So the jar of flowers obviously got flowers for every season. Sweet, and it's got different um, bouquet of flowers that you can either put on a jar or on its stalk and have a bouquet, and it's got 
it's reversible stamp, so you, you can add the water in there or just color the whole thing. It is great. So this one is what I mean. So this one, I'm gonna stamp in black. It's okay, thank you. So if you got a long stamp, always just ooh, place it on on a flat surface and then pick it up. So then you know it's nice and flat and it's not curved or anything. Um, before I do that though, I'll stamp my sentiment in stays on. Then I'm gonna add a border around it with which call it with this. So before I do that, I'm just gonna cut it to size with the trimmer. Oh, you put it back. Thanks. <clears throat> Bar is so efficient. Every time he do I done something, he puts it back, and I'm like, um, I need it. Thanks. <laughs> Efficient or annoying? You decide. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I hate his arm. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna place He's it. He's only being cheeky because we've already had. I've already cooked dinner for the season. Yes, evening. you have. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks quite straight-ish. So I'm gonna leave that in there, and I'm. I want a border around it. So I'm gonna use the actual trimmer. To align it where I want it so about so you I sometimes use the shadows so if I want that there I don't know how far across that is but I'm using this shadow so, uh, to know that when I go this way which shadow again <laughs> that one okay So hopefully it'll have the same border around. It is a bit long-winded doing it this way, but I didn't know how big that is. But I'll tell you how big that is once I'm done. But that's how you can work around it if you just stamp it and you don't know what how to do it so it's actually what just over two inches by one and two four six eight nine, eleven sixteenth of an inch or that is four point two by five point two okay So I'm gonna stamp my. What would you call is that's what would you call that diagonal lines, stripey. It is very easy to use. To... I we love ours. As well. And I'm just gonna line it right at the edge, and then stamp. Ta -da! And I'll do the same on top. I'm not gonna. Shall I do it this way as well? Let's see. It might look funky. Yeah, it'll look funky. I'll just do the top and the bottom. There we go. So with photopolymer, definitely clean up your stamp. Because, um, where did you put this? Um, Sorry. He hides it at the back of the, the laptop. 
Here we go. And scrub. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. I know you're busy. There we go. And I'm just gonna prop that up and then we are done. So don't forget, if you have enjoyed yourself, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That will just help our channel grow and share to um, other people as well who likes card making. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to get 4K before we come out of lockdown. I don't think that's gonna happen. But with your help, hopefully, fingers crossed, please share. Um, yes, so, and get your comments in, and then Barry will do, will random picking for to win one of the cards, you can decide which one. And we have a 99. 99 what? 99 subscribers. Oh, do we? Oh, yeah. that's a lot closer than I thought we, we were. So please share the videos or whatever videos on our channel that you have. It's quite big, isn't it? We're going to have to entertain everyone. I forgot to be doing names. <laughs> oh, no, that's massive. All oh, right, I'm going to cut that. I should have tried it before. There. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Cut it, cut it. There we go. Take that off. Eh? Yeah, so try it before, <laughs> before you decide so how much can i get away with probably five yeah. it's fine it's only dimensional we have loads there we go and then i'll tell you what the sizing is It looks more like a square now, isn't it? <gasps> That's quite cool up there. Okay, I'll do it up there. So that is now 4.2 or 1 in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5 eighths of an inch. And pretty much, yeah, a square, 4.2. Pretty much a square. Now we can add it. Here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sue Harvey. Yes, um, embossing folders, obviously, it's, it's a great tool for using emboss, um, adding texture to your project. Don't forget, you could all also use the deboss side so you can stamp on your ink on your embossing folder obviously i, I didn't show it the, the greatest um, sample there but you get the idea um, and then you can sponge it as well before you emboss or sponge it after you emboss like i did there to pick up the embossed areas what the, the sentiment with yeah. that, um, Chevron. Yeah, I should have lined it up slightly. Oh, oh, there we go. That works. There we go. And this is the first one. I'm just gonna clear up. <laughs> oh, no. Don't look, Barry, don't look. <laughs> Every time he comes in the living room, he'd be like, such a mess, Jay. What you been doing? Um, crafting, hello. <laughs> what else? Well, it's like a bombs hit the living room. <laughs> because it's just literally on every single surface you can imagine. 
So yes. Didn't he do well? Isn't he lovely? It's a nice, nice stamp set. I really like this set. Um, beautiful. Well done, Jay. Thank you. So good. So yes, yeah, so we've got had some lovely comments come through on this one tonight. So thank you very much. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do a drawing in a second. A drawing? Uh, what? With pen and paper? <laughs> with pen and paper, no. We're going to pick somebody, obviously if you live in the UK, to win one of these cards. Um, or if you live outside of the UK, we can send you a tutorial free of charge, one of our um, online classes. So yes, yeah, so that's how we're doing that now. Cool. So yeah, so that's it. So are we going to do the drawing straight away? Yeah. And then Jay's going to give you a sneak peek of some stuff which is um, coming up. Come on, Tommy. So let's bring the computer in. Jay's going to talk to you whilst I just get this all set up quickly. Yeah. Did you want to flip it? Flip it. Flip it. And, and because Tommy wanted to say hello. Here you go. So I finished... <laughs> I finished crafting and Tommy um, just jumped up. There you go, Tommy. Cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that. So inspired by Banksy and stencil graffiti and try using your embossing folder differently and inking it up. So with regards to the sneak peeks, um, so I got a couple of challenge uh, blogs coming up. Um, this one using Forever Fern from the Forever Greenery Suite. Again, Lovely. coming out in June the 3rd. I nearly forgot. June the 3rd. Can't forget June the 3rd. Uh, Birth what? Birthday day. <laughs> 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 this one, another, another Forever Fern. And Forever Flourishes, I believe the stamp set. Uh, the dice is, which is the um, bundle for the stamp and the dice. And this is what Barry mentioned Lovely. earlier. I love this card. I think it's beautiful. So that is stamped in Memento. And I actually used, I don't know if you can see, the subtle embossing folder on that and then sponged after. Mm, very nice. So because I was sponging on... And you've done the subtle embossing folder at an, have you done an, it at an angle, angle as yeah. well so it replicates the, so clever. Um, can you see that you can just about see it on there. Um, the subtle embossing folder is at an angle as well, so it's also going in the direction of the rain. You're very clever. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Every time I create a card, I'd be like to Barry, have you seen my card? Do you like it? And, Bar and I'll be like, I don't like it. Or no, I say I don't like it. It's so frustrating. He's always criticising his work. But so let's pick a winner. I think everyone has got in there now, so I've not seen any new names come in. Yeah. So I am just going to um, copy all of these names into our picker. Ooh. And yes, which card would you like? The clean one or the grungy one? But I love that one. I might have to... Do that again. <laughs> Just so we can have it. Okay. Let's flip you around so you can see the screen and the mess. Please excuse the mess. And the winner is... Do, do, do. Who's going to win either a card or a tutorial? It is... Susan, Susan. Berenek. Yes. So, Congratulations! Ping us, um, ping us some details. Let us know where you're from, um, and we will, we will sort out either a card or a tutorial for you, free of charge. Congratulations! So good, excellent. So good. All right. So we will be back on maybe, maybe Wednesday. We're going to put a pin in that. We're not going to, um, we're not going to say yes. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to say yes to that straight away because obviously it is my birthday, so I'm not sure what we are doing. Um, launching the catalogue. Launching what the catalogue. <laughs> I, in my head, I've planned to do it. I'm thinking we're going to be doing a catalogue thing, but I don't know what's happening. Oh, who, who depend? It all depends. It all depends on what he's got planned. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving on. Congratulations, Susa. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to email us at mitosocrafts at yahoo.co.uk uh, with your details. Yep, or private messages, yes. Yes. So cool. good, excellent. All and right. which card, which card? Yeah, let us know, yeah, if you're, um, yeah, let us know where you're from, we can sort something out or, um, yeah. 
we're sort of either pick a card or a, or a tutorial. That's cool. cool. Lovely. Thanks, right. everyone. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you again on Wednesday very soon. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye.